Welcome to TradersArmy.com, defending your right to build wealth and preserve capital for generations to come. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's edition of The Daily Market Commentary. I am your host, Chuck Fulkerson. Hope everybody had a great trading day yesterday. Welcome to our Friday edition as we are rounding out the week. For those of you new to the channel, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button down below uh, and the bell so that you get the, the alerts as they come out. For those of you not new to the channel, do me a favor. Tell somebody else about it today so that maybe they can get a chance to come and join. All right. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, I know a number of you were in our live trading room yesterday. I didn't have a daily market commentary yesterday as we just did the live trading room. Uh, and so some of these lines may be new uh, if, you're not, uh, if you're not a subscriber at tradersarmy.com. Uh, but uh, there's still a lot of levels that we'd had in for a couple of days that met entry. So the first was the ES. So this ES level I've had as a breakout trade for a couple of weeks. I mean, it literally had been a few weeks and we actually got the breakout yesterday. And this is the ideal scenario for a breakout, right? Where we touch, 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 touch. And each time that we touch, notice that we went down a little bit less. So the first time we touched it, we went down that far. The second time that we touched it, we went down that far. The third time that we touched it, we went down that far. The fourth time that we touched it, we went down that far. The fifth time that we touched it, we went down that far. I mean, this is this is ideally what you're looking for. When you get that many touches of your of your level and it and it falls off of there, you know, less and less each time. Uh, and then we got a breakout and we got a decent breakout that wound up running for, um, you know, about 20 points in the S&P. So you got at least a 20 point breakout on that move. Now, we started to fall back from there. We're back to a brand new all time high, which means no shorting allowed. Um, but since we did get that breakout, I'm going to remove this blue line. I am going to take a look at the origin of this rally, which would have been, you know, this, this, this little triangle pattern right here. Um, as we had a little triangle pattern there and the origin of this of this breakout, there's a little bit of basing before a very strong drive up in price. And that uh, that could be an area where if price does return, that we see a bit of a reversal. Uh, in the NASDAQ, we have not yet eclipsed the all-time high. We did gain some, some strong momentum yesterday. I have a very similar area highlighted in the NASDAQ as well. Crude oil. So in crude oil, we had a reversal trade coming off of this area here. Uh, it came down and hit the uh, the first profit target, didn't make it all the way down to the second profit target. But because this level has been hit now three times, I'm going to remove this level from the charts uh, and we will see if something comes up uh, today that we can use. Now, I'm not a huge fan of holding a lot of these things over the weekend, especially with how news sensitive that we are. And so uh, I'll look at this one a little bit later today and see if there's something worth getting into or at least setting up for a Sunday open. Uh, looking at gold, so looking here at gold, we fell, we have fallen in the overnight hours off of this uh, high upper wick right here. This high upper wick created its own little area, and that's where we got a little bit of a reversal, and prices started to move down from there. Uh, as we at, you know, as we've kind of trended up, you look at this as a as a trend line. Let's see if we get a little bounce off this trend line, which corresponds to this area here. So we may get a bit of a reversal opportunity right in here, and that's coming in right now. So if you are so inclined, then then you know I would go candle to candle style on this trade. I think candle to candle is probably the better way to go. Looking at our bond market. Those of you that have uh, traded with us for the last couple of weeks know that we had a, our breakout hit in the bonds, uh, and then price has come down from there, and we rallied back up into a potential sell area that we identified yesterday in the live trading room, and we're starting to fall off that area. But we're falling with very, very, you know, a very weak momentum. So I'm going to remove this one for the moment. Uh, however, I think we could get another breakdown opportunity. Um, if you've missed the first breakdown, you can get another breakdown opportunity below here. Looking at the Aussie, so in the Aussie, um, we've got a really strong rally up. I expected some of these areas here to have some reversals. We've not had any reversals in the Aussie. Um, I thought we might uh, might get a little bit. Our four-hour, 
We've shown a lot of strength, and really that strength is is partially because of the weakness of the dollar overall, but we've shown a lot of strength here on the Aussie. Uh, you know, theoretically, a pullback into this region could be a buying opportunity on the four hour. For now, I'm not going to add anything because I don't think it's going to get there today. We'll look at it uh, next week. In the euro, uh, so the euro, we had a breakout trade off of this uh, triangle pattern from yesterday, and that level worked really well for those of you that were able to jump on it and take that euro long. We now have a little bit of sideways before the strong move that acts as a potential reversal point, so we're going to leave that one in play as well. And then the Canadian dollar, we had a potential um, confirmation style entry right here after price had gone up and kind of chopped a little bit. Now it's basing way, way a lot uh, in front of this area, which makes it a slightly lower degree of probability. Uh, last, certainly not least, Great British Pound had a very strong rally yesterday. Um, we had another potential uh, trade in the pound. Uh, if indeed we came back into this region here, we thought we may get a little bit of a reversal, so keep an eye on that area there. Japanese yen, we had a breakdown below our uh, our level, so that level, that breakdown is working very, very well. For those of you that took that breakdown, I would take your stop and lock in some profits, maybe move it down to above this area here, uh, and not have to worry about holding anything over the weekend. Tonight at 8 uh, Central, 9 Eastern, we have a live trading room Q&A. So it's a Q&A session only. I know a lot of Traders Army subscribers like having these Q&A sessions. They're designed so that you can ask any questions that you want. So it's not just the live trading rooms, but it's part of those Q&As. If you want to learn more, go to tradersarmy.com and become a subscriber. So until tomorrow, everybody, actually until the weekend edition, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you soon. Later.